Scorpio, this is your Leo Relia. I'm here to do your card reading for the month of November. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus sign is in Scorpio, this is the right video for you. Also welcome to all the cross watchers. Let's start with your reading. I'm going to do the card across today. And we're going to start with a pre-shuffling. Wow, okay. Uh, judgment so letting go of the past energies releasing the past energies there's something some sort of decision that keeps you like a little bit out of balance or that is maybe there is some indecisiveness where you're not quite sure about am I gonna go left or am I gonna go right so it's the yes no yes no energy when it comes to some sort of situation um, what I do get here actually with these two cards is that you are a little bit pulled back into the past energies like you can see here with the uh, figure of eight here between those two pentacles and there is something that it, it always feels like something wants to pull you back into the past and there's something that like makes you feel a little bit wobbly like it's a it's a it's a card of instability here um, when it comes to that energy that kind of like wants to pull you back into the past um, but definitely this energy is about releasing the energies of the past and then to move forward and to move into a new beginning because there is something waiting for you that is connected to your um, soul's calling with this card I feel like but in order for you to actually follow your soul's calling it feels like you need to let go of the energies of the past so they don't weigh you down uh, let's see hmm, interesting so and there we go there we have the new beginning the leap of faith here and that's beautiful because that shows now up together so definitely there is the energy of new potential that is surrounding you a brand new chapter a brand new start uh, a start where you're going to be more light uh, again because you have let go of the energies of the past it's really interesting because usually i wouldn't say that the two of pentacles is the energy of something pulling you back but for some reason i just got that uh, this this energy where something is gonna pull you back into the past but you're gonna it's almost like you you dodge the bullet it's like you're gonna sway back and then you matrix style kind of like move then towards the future and they're like no 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 I'm gonna let go of that and I'm gonna move now into that new beginning so really interesting how how the energies feel okay let's do this one more time and the king of wands you might be dealing with a fire sign leo sagittarius or aries that might be your energy it could be that you have more fiery aspects uh, when it comes to releasing something from the past here maybe there's someone in authority who you need to release um, but what I do get, uh, especially with this card, it's learning from your experiences. This card is the king of fire. So he has learned to, uh, he has matured, like his experiences made him mature. And now he's able to learn from his experiences and to make the right decisions for the future. So there's something connected to your future plans. Uh, something connected to your call, uh, soul's calling. Um, it might actually be connected to creative projects and to your business life and all of that. But I also feel like there's a wider sense of things going on. It, it feels like more big picture, like it feels like something connected to your whole life with this energy where you're making plans for the future because you have learned from the past and you have released the past now. And um, making wise choices so have I done this three times already I think so yeah I did so let's go deep into your reading what are the energies for Scorpio Sun and Rising Venus Scorpio Sun and Rising Venus please for November mm, and we do have the judgment card at the bottom of the deck again so overall energy overall theme letting go of the past releasing the past becoming light again the topic of forgiveness could be something forgiving yourself forgiving others um, in order for you to have like a I always say a zero line so it's like 
you think back of the past but it actually doesn't do anything to you anymore you're just like yeah whatever that's the past it's gone uh so that's what i'm getting here with that energy and obviously that's the perfect condition then to move into the future to move into the potential of the fool um and i feel like there's a big potential especially with the king of fire the king of wands where it's about big plans it's the big picture it's like uh, i feel like there's a lot in the future um that you're moving into now so let's go into the energies still dealing with some disappointments here so well that is the energy there's still something that is quite heavy and maybe this is why we had so much the energies of releasing the past i mean we still got it here at the bottom of the deck because some things didn't turn out the way you thought or hope they would and i feel like in november you're gonna be, um, you're gonna still be busy with dealing with those disappointments um there is this heavy heavy energy around you where again this person is looking into the past so uh so so this person basically is still focused on all the things that didn't work out the way uh he or she hoped it would um what's very important is that all this energy here it could be sadness coming up for you it could be resentment it could be all sorts of um energies that are weighing you down a little bit um i especially see this card very often as because uh, because usually the uh um, the energy is more like a dark, like a uh, black cloak. And I often see that as a heaviness surrounding you, surrounding your energy field when it comes to the past. But what this person doesn't do is turning around here and to see the cups that are still standing. So um, I think what's very important for you is to actually turn around and see the potential of the future. In a way, I feel like you do that um, because we have the fool, we have that potential, we have this exciting energy of uh when it comes to the future um but i do feel like every now and then there's still something to work through here that is connected to the things of the past that didn't turn out the way you hoped or thought they would uh the biggest challenge is hmm, okay there could be some sort of maybe you're waiting for a message maybe you're waiting for some sort of offer here the page of uh, the page of wands is, is oh god page of wands is an exciting new opportunity and maybe there's some sort of challenge connected when it comes to that exciting new opportunity maybe it's not going to move fast enough for you uh that could be something here maybe there is more study needed something that you need to learn because this is also the student energy um which might be some sort of yeah like i said challenge mm, okay the energy i'm getting here is that there might be something to learn from the past that is important for you to move forward now that's interesting that's the energy i'm getting here um beside the typical meanings of the cards what happened in the past mm, conflict of course uh well definitely some sort of energy where you feel like you needed to stand up for yourself you needed to defend yourself it's a very defensive energy here um, a very protective energy as well in a way but you can see all those um, struggles from outside influences where you try to defend yourself this is the energy i'm getting here so something where there was a lot of struggle in the past to keep the higher ground to keep your position which actually wasn't that bad which was actually quite good but um yeah the, there was a lot of defensive energy going on maybe you needed to defend yourself your point of view um yeah for some of you maybe even going into a fight like literally where you needed to defend yourself in a way and i, I feel with the page here being the challenge and being the student energy it does feel like there's something to learn from that and once you've done that it feels like you crack the code and you can then move forward because like i said major arcana cards are quite strong here uh especially in the pre-shuffling so that is really it does feel because these are the minor um, arcana cards so it does feel like the main energy is about focusing on to the new potential of the future with the fool with the judgment card with is still a little bit of releasing the old your folk your focus is yeah there we go is about getting new insights seeing things from a different perspective doing things differently this is something that you're very much focused on and this is what i am getting here like you're gonna have some sort of epiphany some sort of 
epiphany or insight that is going to help you move forward. Now, either you're going to ask yourself, what is it that I need to do in order to make my life successful or be happy or in order to dot 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 complete the sentence but it's like the energy of what do i need to do or what do i need to let go of in order to move into that energy of success harmony happiness all the good things basically and it does feel like you are on the you're looking for knowledge you're looking for the answers here and that's what you're very much focused on so it's quite interesting that this energy came through um, as the energy of there's something to learn, something that you need to see, something where you're going to look deeper into it um, in order to understand something for you then to be able to move forward. So very interesting that this kind of like shows up here um, as well with the hanged man. Now, what's going on emotionally? Celebration. So the four of um, ones is a time of good news coming in. So emotionally, even though we do have some aspects emotionally where you are digesting the past, I would say. So that's definitely an aspect here. But we do have the uh, beautiful four of ones. So celebration card here. For some of you, this could be connected to a celebration, an event. Obviously, it's your birthday for the most of you guys. So happy birthday. Um, but also, this could uh, talk about um, a celebration, an event, a party, uh, a wedding. So these kind of energies might play a part here as well, especially since a four of wands is an energy of marriage. It could mean... Um, that taking a commitment to the next level to the next step that might be something here as well um, might be moving together starting a family whatever the next step basically would be if you are in a relationship um, also if this is about something that is connected to your work i would say there's really good news coming in also where you're going to be very happy and you're going to celebrate something so I mean, I do feel like, I mean, obviously having a whole monthly reading here and the month being like quite long, you have all different sorts of emotions you're going to work through. And it's actually quite nice to see um, different things where I feel like you're working through here. And like I said, good news coming in on the emotional side of things as well. In the near future, we do see, there we go. Oh my God, this is literally you having the insight. Wow, this is so... Interesting, this is the king of wands. Obviously, we had this already in the pre shuffle, but I'm getting the energy that this is the student, that's the page, and I feel like you're moving into the energy of the king. So, I feel like you're gonna have learned a major lesson that is part of your maturing and your personal growth, or maybe your growth of your business or relationship. Um, whatever this refers to, whatever the disappointment of the past basically refers to, it feels like the inside, um, this thing where I feel like you just need to gain this one thing, you need to understand something here and it feels like that basically brings you straight away into the energy of the king of wands. It, it's a very uh, authoritative energy so you might be now in a very authoritative position or you're taking the lead here in a certain situation you are now the leader you have understood something and it, it's really interesting because it feels like something is changing um from this page that is the challenge but then moving into the energy of the king of uh, wands here um also it feels like there's a change in your personality with that insight with that growth that is happening so you are able to actually make now strong decisions for your future may that be in your personal life or in your business life let's move into your energy the energy you bring into the mix there are still some confusion illusion or fears here i would say this is basically what's happening with the energy uh, where you can't see something clearly at the moment uh, something is still hidden from you um, unless it feels like you are hiding something here and that's the energy you bring into the mix but i, I do feel like with the five of cups that is here i'm so sorry i it's raining outside like massively i hope it's not going to be too disturbing on the on the uh, camera here um i don't know if you even can hear this but it's like massive oh my god thunder thunder 
uh, in your reading Scorpio. Wow, washing away all the old but with a big bang. Um, confusion, yeah, there is something in your energy field where I feel like you can't really see something and um, there might be some insecurities and fears coming up. Um, but like I said, I also feel like you're gonna sw shift something massively here. So um, I would say with this energy at the moment, it feels more like it relates to the Five of Cups, to that energy where there is the heavy energy, something something that might be quite confusing at some point when it comes to a situation from the past but I feel like you're gonna break through that you're gonna break through the confusion you're gonna break through the fears through the illusion uh, especially since you're moving into the energies of the king of so uh, king of wands here so that's really beautiful and also with the inside that is here at the top with the hanged man now the energies of the person you're dealing with um, the person in your life or the energy your environment has onto you and there is work 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 so there might be some sort of teacher uh, that might, that's a student teacher energy so where somebody is very good at what he or she is doing and so that person could teach you something or it's the other way around where um, you are teaching another person so there might be the student energy surrounding you here um, that is something that is connected to your environment or a specific person there's a lot of work going on in your environment or when it comes to a specific person maybe a partnership a business partnership where it's about building up in um, abundance building up uh, independence uh, obviously that could um, be connected to finances with the element of pentacles here if this is more connected about family and home life or a relationship in general I do feel like um, you're working on uh, having a beautiful relationship enjoying life to the fullest but in order to enjoy life to the fullest there's still a little bit more work needed um, maybe you are at the end stages of building a house or of moving and something like that and there's still a little bit more work needed in order to really enjoy what you're working for um, yeah so this energy basically in your surrounding points towards that there's a bit more work needed for you to then move into the beautiful abundant energy and into the energy of enjoying life that might like i said be connected to another person or just something that is connected to your environment where you need to work on something and as well the whole thing with teaching something or learning something here next energy hopes and fears moving away from the past i feel like definitely again connected to the five of cups here as well um, I would say your hopes and fears are more like a hope of leaving something now in the past, of leaving something behind, especially since we have the disappointments here of uh, situations in the past. For some of you, obviously, that might be something connected to a fear as well, of moving away from something, letting go of something here, detaching emotionally. That might be some sort of fear as well. But in general, I would say with everything that I see here now, it's more like the hope to finally let those cups in the past, to finally move into your wish fulfillment. Because this is something um, that the ace, uh, Eight of Cups tells me as well, where you're moving into your happiness, into your wish fulfillment. But in order to do this, again, you need to let go of the past. So that's really interesting here. We do have two eights so there is the energy of making progress when it comes to living happy when it comes to uh, living in abundance and all areas of life or a very specific area of life um, let's move forward into the development and oh, we do have the sun card so we do have success happiness which is interesting because we talk just all about these things you're moving into your happiness into your wish fulfillment uh working for success here um so and that's something that you're definitely going to get especially with the two cards that are pointing towards the near future and the development of the fate of the of the whole situation basically is making wise choices for the future uh, doing the right thing knowing now because of your past experiences because of everything that you've learned what the path to success is basically or the path to happiness depending on what area of life that relates to could be both obviously as well 
So a very strong energy that you're moving into. Still a little bit tidying up to do when it comes to the disappointments of the past. But I do feel like the only thing that um, is needed is that you understand something connected to the past. So that you and, and then it feels like this. I just see it like a metamorphosis, do you say it like this in English? Um, a transformation basically from that energy of the seeker, of the um, of the seeker of the student into bam authority and now this is what I'm what I'm gonna do where I'm going at um, and obviously I want to come back to that card because this is all about your soul's calling and your soul is calling you into success your soul is calling you into happiness and all the good things into having a carefree life so uh, really really beautiful this is what I got for you. If you resonate with the reading, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Mm.